So now this is the first video and the first actual lesson that uh, I will introduce the first letters that you need to know. And uh, here we go. So the first family that you are going to learn out of the nine families is the biggest one uh, so far. They are five different letters but same family you will understand later so in this lesson you will learn this family the first one and the biggest and we will learn diacritical marks as well so I'm gonna write it in here in English diacritical marks and we will learn as well letter wall Letter Wo is part of a different family, but I'm introducing it right now at the beginning because it's very common in words. Uh, so it's fun to learn it. So we can learn more words and we can write uh, more words. So what you need to know, when I say again, uh, family, like uh, consonant family, that means they share the same or the same basic form. You remember one, and that will be for all of them, which will facilitate uh, the learning process. It will be much easier to remember and much easier to understand. So all of these like five letters, they share one basic form. I will start with each letter by itself, and then you will, I will put them together and show you how they look like each other. Okay? So we'll start with the first letter. I am going to erase this right now and just stick with the first family. So the first letter is B. Remember, this is a chat uh, Arabic, so letter, so you don't need to worry about. And I'm gonna write it in Arabic, just uh, if you are interested. And letter B. So I will write it in a big font. So it's like open hands with a dot below. This is letter B. So this letter connects from right and left. You need to know each letter how they connect, either from both sides or just from the right side. And that is important. Also, it will be implied for the rest of the family. So you remember one and you will remember the rest. So if it connects from right and left, that means that it has two shapes. When we say it connects from both sides, from right and left, it means that it has two shapes. The first one, it's just the connection when it's connected and the one it's the original shape. So let's see how it looks. I'm going to draw the line. This is the baseline that you always need to have in order to see where the word uh, uh, lay. And I'm going to get different color uh, pen. So I show you. So the first here we have the beginning of a word, middle of a word and end. At the beginning, when you have letter B at the beginning, it just looks like this. I'm writing in a big handwriting, but if you have a word, you're not going to write that big. You just like draw, draw it small, depending on where you're writing and how you're writing. So it goes from the top, down, and left. Just a corner. And the dot goes below. You can put it just exactly on the corner or a little bit to the left but not to the right side that's important to know so this is the beginning and in the middle it will be the same thing it will not change so this is letter ba, letter ba in the middle now if it connects to uh, another letter to the right side that means that it needs the connection line or if you, if you want to like facilitate the understanding of a connection line, it's like you have two people st standing, like one on the right and one on the left, and you want to give them your hands, like right and left. So it's the same idea. These uh, letters, when they connect from both sides, they need to have the connection from right and left. So these are the hand, hands. Um, so this is the hand to the letter before, and you draw the same thing, the letter again. So you see it's the same as the beginner, beginning uh, 
shape in the middle it will not change as I said it has two forms only and sometimes people they say okay well it's like how you write it when you're writing it flows this is the the connection and then you go from the top and down or if you want to make it fast like you want to write it faster than this and you don't want to be like a, you like more curvy style you can do that this and that's fine and at the end, it should be like the original form, on the line, either like this. And if it's connected to another letter, you will do, you will draw the hand again and write the letter. So this is letter B. Now the question, maybe you 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 are like saying that's all. Yes, for now that's all because you need to know how to write this letter right now. Now. Are we able to read it yet? No, you cannot read it. Why? Because it does not have any vowels, which we will learn later at the end of this um, lesson. So for now, just I want you to remember that letter B, it represents the letter B. Just B, like A, B. We, we say B, that's all. It does not have any sound so far. We cannot read it. We can just see how it looks like as connected and uh, at the end so i'm gonna write them all beginning form middle form and end and the beginning is the same as in the middle but not the same as at the end so two forms and this is like basically the connection to the letter before and this is the connection to the letter before or if you want to say like the hand to the left. So this is how it looks like letter B. Now, if you keep it, keep these rules in mind, you will be able to understand how we write the rest uh, of the letters uh, in this family. So I'm gonna erase that to have more space and we'll go through the rest. The second letter is T. T. That's in Arabic, that's in Arabic, ch chat Arabic, and that is the letter, ta. Now, ta represents t. If you, when I say ta, this is the whole name of the letter. And when we use it in a word, like written in words, then it takes out all of this, like remaining like a, and just remains the t and it has to be vowel in order to be pronounced. You will understand more about that once we introduce the day critical marks. So this is letter t. Now I wrote here a line and I'm gonna write it again in a big and in a big handwriting. So this is this line it's actually originally it's uh, consisting of two dots. Now some people they disagree with me and they say oh no you should not write it like this with line, it should be two dots. No, uh, what I'm teaching you is to facilitate the writing. If you have too many dots, sometimes there's, there's a word that has so many letters that has so many dots. So if you have too many dots, I'm sure you'll make a mistake and it will be too messy. It's easier to have a line and actually I'm teaching you based on the most like uh, commonly used handwriting uh, and how the stroke it should be uh, drawn uh, like the letter how it should be drawn so this is the letter ta and some people if you if you prefer the dots you can do the dots but i advise you to do a line but better uh, than the dots so if you remember letter ba then you will remember letter ta it connects from right and left it has two forms it should be the same as uh, the letter ba, I'm not gonna draw the dots, but it should be the same uh, base form, basic form. So how it looks like, beginning, middle, and end. At the beginning, same thing how we drew the ba. And then you have the line on the top. So the difference between this and letter ba is here the line on the top, the ba it was below. So this is letter T, and in the middle it's the same thing. I'm gonna write here beginning, middle, so you don't get confused and end form. So 
beginning and middle is the same. And if it's connected to a letter that, uh, to the letter, to a letter to the right side, then again, I am going to write it in red so you can see the difference. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same, didn't change. And at the end, it should be like the original form on the line, or if it connects, then you should just do the connection. How you do the stroke? Same thing as in the back. You start from the top and then you go down and then left. And if it's like at the end, you start from here and you go down. It's the same like in, the same idea as in there. And then you go left and then you twist it and up and you make the line. And also, if you have so many uh, like other letters with dots, you can choose to do the dots at the end or you can choose to do the dots right away. It's better to do the dots right away at the beginning because so you don't uh, miss uh, some dots and then you can make mistake and spell another word. Okay, this is letter T. And again, we cannot pronounce it because it does not have any vowels. We will learn the vowels soon. This is the second letter of this family. We learned ba and we learned ta. Now, the third one, sorry, I'm going to erase. The third one is called fa. This is in transliteration th. Fa. Now, let me write it and I will explain something very cool about this. So this is the big handwriting. It's a hat. Uh, it's, I write, I'm teaching you the easiest way to, uh, to write the dots. It's based on three dots. However, I connect them together. Why? To eliminate confusions when you're writing fast or if you want in general write fast or slow, it doesn't matter. But it's not just my style. It's the most commonly used handwriting. A lot of people use this style. It's not typing, so we don't use dots much. So you, I prefer, I advise you to write the hat rather than just put the dots. Because sometimes there are words that has like three or four letters that they have all of them dots. So imagine like you're just like spending time dots, dots, dots. And sometimes I'm sure you will forget one of the dots and then you create another confusion by writing another word or a wrong word. So this is letter fa. What you need about the, to know about this letter, first, how it's pronounced, it's fricative. So it's between the teeth, and you push the air. It's like, it sounds like three, through, uh, like this sound, so in between the teeth. But it's not vibrate, vibrating, uh, it's Now, if, what, and the other part that it's very important to know that if you are learning, Formal Arabic, the name and the sound of this letter is f, fa, f. Now, if you're learning urban Arabic, again, urban Arabic is the spoken language. Spoken language, it prefers to use the easiest way, it always finds the easiest way to pronounce words, the fastest way to pronounce words. So it develops and also it adapts in new pronunciations by time, like every 10 or 20 years, it adapts a new pronunciation or like changing the vowels or anything. So, however, what's uh, cool about that is uh, that this letter in urban Arabic, it's not pronounced anymore. Why? Because we avoid all the fricative letters. They are annoying. When we speak, they're annoying. In a way, like it has like negative and positive side. Negative side is the letter has changed. Positive side, it's easier for us to pronounce. So how it changed to? It changed to the pronunciation s. Example. The word example in Arabic, fusha, formal Arabic, we say mathalan or mithal. In Amiya or in urban Arabic, we say masal. And then there's just the pronunciation change to be s. However, it's still written the same. We don't change the way to write it because we don't want to change the whole word. If you change the whole word, then it can mean different thing. So how we write this letter? If you remember, the basic form, how we write ba and ta, then you definitely need to know how you definitely uh, remember how you write tha. So the basic form is like that, and then the hat on the top. And the same thing in the middle. 
And if it connects, then you have to draw the connection. Now, when you're writing, you don't need to use so many different colors. I'm just showing you the connection to see where the letter starts from. So this is in the middle and at the end. And when it connects, same thing. However, sometimes people, they like to make it more curvy or you can make it more square. It's up to you. It's all correct. It's all handwriting and it depends on how you like to do it. However, don't disfigure the letter totally, but you can choose to like do it curvy or um, more square. Now, this is the letter. Again, I'm going to remind you, we cannot pronounce them yet. So be patient a little bit, I ask you, please. And we will move to the last two letters of this family and then we will learn the critical marks soon. So the fourth letter of this family is noon. Noon. N. 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 It's a nasal letter. N. It's circle and has dot. Now you will think, say, well, it does not look like the ba, ta, and tha. It does not look, but it's, it's sharing the same basic shape. So don't worry about that. And just I want to say that in, in fonts, calligraphy, people, they make, they are free. They can make like, they can change the, the shape of the letter. They can make it look like ba or ta or sometimes like swan. So this is like freestyle. Now you can, some people, they like tend to write the noon like more, more like spread it like ba, ta, and tha. It is not wrong, but this is the correct shape. So you can choose to do that, but this is how you should do it. Uh, I'm giving you freedom to, to do stuff as long, like to write stuff. However, you should not change the shape a lot. Now, letter noon, n, the same thing as ba, ta, and tha. It connects from right and left. And when we write it on a, in a word, if we have beginning of a word, middle of a word, and end, it should look exactly like the basic form as in ba, ta, and tha. So at the beginning, start from the top, down, and left. Now, if I want to draw in front of you now this basic form, and then I say ba, this is ba, this is ta, okay? And then if you want to write tha, and then if you want, Remove that dot and then you make the noon. You see, just the dots change. This is how you differentiate between one letter and another. So this is letter noon at the beginning. The dot, it should be either on the tooth or on the edge in here or a little bit to the left, but not to the right side because the right side belongs to the other letter. In the middle, it should be the same. And at the end, you have to draw the connection. Sorry, not at the end, in the middle if it's connected. You have to draw the connection. And at the end, now you can choose to draw, write it on the line, on the whole thing on the line, or better to do it like this, like half on the, on the top and half below. And if it connects, then you draw the whole thing like that. So this is letter noon. As you see, it has the same basic shape as ba, ta, and tha, and then the end, it should be like the original form, so two shapes. So each letter of this family has two shapes, two forms, when it's connected and when like the, has the, at the end the original form, like uh, how it should look like. Now this is letter noon, n, 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 the last letter of this family. It's very cool. Now, the last letter is a very interesting one. It's letter ya. Ya. Or why, if you want to say. Now, what you need to know about this letter, couple of things. First, how 
it looks like, and I'll explain that. And second, what it does. What's the, the mysterious thing about this letter? First, yes, if you think about the head, this is the head, it looks like a swan or a duck. So if you think about the head, this is the head, and you take it off, the rest looks like the ba, ta, tha, and noon with a line below. Remember, each line or hat is consisting of two dots or three. So this is two dots, one and two. Now, and this is the head. So it looks like S with a tail. Now what you need to know about this letter, it connects from right and left, of course, it has two shapes. What you need to know is that this letter Play, plays two roles in the Arabic alphabet. First role is which we are learning right now. We are focusing on learning ya as a consonant. Now, later in the second video, we are going to learn ya as a long vowel. It has two roles as a consonant, as a long vowel. I am going to again remind you when I say consonant, that is the letters that I'm able to pronounce. Vowels are sounds. They are not pronounced. I cannot use like p or the or z or any like these parts. So vowels are sounds and letters or consonants they are pronounced. They create the word. So this letter has two roles. I'm gonna write them here. One as a consonant and one as a long vowel. The long vowel issue, we are not going to explain it right now. Don't worry about it. We'll learn it later. Now, ya yeah, as a consonant. Y, yeah, like in yes, you, uh, ya, yeah, um, y'all. So this is how you pronounce it. And it looks like ba, ta, and tha. So at the beginning, with a line below, in the middle, and if it connects in the middle, then you have to draw the connection while you're writing. And at the end, it should look like the original form. What is the original form or shape? So either you write it on the top, on the line, the whole thing, or it's better. If you, if you do this, it's most like preferred if you have like other letters that they stand on the line and horizontally. But if the letters, they are like on the line or below, it should be like uh, parallel to them. So the head is on the top and the body, body is below. Okay. And if it's connected, then you just draw the connection. You make the line of the connection. And this is the ya. Yeah. So this is letter ya. Yeah. All three together, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. You see? Now I am going to wrap up everything again. We have learned ba, ta, Tha, Noon, and Ya. These are the names of the five letters. Ba as in B, Ta as in T, Tha as in Th, Noon as in N, and Ya as in Y. We cannot pronounce them yet because we don't have short vowels or vowels with them to be pronounced. But you should remember always that they share one basic shape, which is if it's connected, this is the basic shape, like that. So, ba is a dot below. Ta is a line above. Tha is a hat. Noon is on the top. So, and ya is below. So you just change the dots and it will be different letter, belongs to the same family. Again, this is the, the biggest family so far, and the rest it's not that big, it's like either three letters or two. Now this is finished, and now we are going to learn one more letter, and we learn the diacritical mark. 
So this extra letter that you are going to learn, it's called wow. Wow. Wow is w. It looks like a big comma. And what you need to know about this letter, it's the same idea as an ya. It doesn't belong to this family, it belongs to different family. We are learning it right now because it's commonly used, it's very used, it exists in so many words. So it's fun to learn right now, right now to have more variety of words instead of just like sticking to just the letters we are learning. However, this letter connects only from the right, never from the left, ever, ever, ever. So when we say a letter connects only from the right side, that means that only has one shape only one shape which is how it should be looking like like a big comma which is cool huh like reducing the amount of writing so beginning of a word middle of a word and end when i give beginning middle end i want you to see it in different positions and i want you to see how it looks the same as the original form it's not like uh, I'm confusing you or anything. So at the beginning, the circle of the wall is on the top and the rest below. You can write it the whole thing on the top of the line, like on the line, but the most common handwriting is this. And in the middle, same thing. And if it connects, the same thing, you have to draw the connection and write the letter wall. I'm giving different colors to show you where it connects, where it doesn't, and the letter itself. And at the end, the same thing. Nothing has changed. Nothing will be uh, new or surprise of this letter since it doesn't connect to the left side. So this is letter wow. Wow or w, w, w as in what, we, uh, with. So this is pronunci pronunciation of this uh, letter, and it plays a role. Uh, same idea as in ya, it has two roles. One as a consonant, and the second as a long vowel. We will learn the long vowel in a different lesson, in its own lesson. We are not gonna mix uh, things together. Now we are learning this letter as a consonant. So far we have learned ba, ta, fa, noon, ya, and wow six letters two of them are they they have two roles one as a consonant and one as a long vowel which are ya yeah and wow and one big family or the biggest ba ta tha noon and ya yeah. remember one family share one basic shape okay this is finished about the wall